can hear the signs you describe Don't be ashamed We can always leave this place and go where no one knows our name friends welcome back to my channel also welcome if you are new I am so excited for today's video but I did want to take a quick second to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video if you guys haven't heard of Skillshare Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring and creative classes for anyone who just wants to learn and explore and just build on their creative side I have been loving Skillshare for, I think it's been three years now. Um, I originally started using Skillshare to work on my editing skills when it came to video and photography, but more recently have been into the interior design. This is one of the interior design videos I have been loving. With our new house, we're probably going to be doing a lot of remodeling, and one of the first areas is going to be our master bathroom. So having these different interior design classes just to give me ideas and inspiration and maybe things that I've never thought about has been amazing for me and I've been really, really enjoying it. Skillshare has graciously offered the first 1,000 of my viewers to sign up using my code livingwithcambria0522 or the link in my description, one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creative side. Make sure to check out my link in the description and try Skillshare for yourself. I have to say this has got to be one of my favorite ages for kids. Freya is my little shadow. She is always around me, but we have so much fun. You can see we were messing with the pillows and everything, and she just thinks it's the funniest thing. Um, and then she just cuddles up on the bed knowing that I'm going to be cleaning up, and she's just going to relax and watch Coco Melon. Her obsession is Coco Melon. I try so many other videos, but that is her thing. That is her go-to, and she steals her brother's tablets on a daily basis. On this day, I was really just trying to get all my basic cleaning chores done right away in the morning because the weather here in Wisconsin is finally getting nice and beautiful, um, which allows me to go outside and get a lot more done. Also, hang outside with the kids, let them ride their bikes and just relax. But on this day, my big, big goal was to get my car cleaned. If you guys live in a cooler climate, you may be like me where... That first big car clean after winter is always, like, I dread it because I don't clean my car in the winter. I'm not going to sit outside and freeze my butt off to clean my car. But I have three kids. I have two dogs. Um, with us listing and selling our house, when the house was being shown, we took the dogs in the car with us. So there's food and dog hair and everything um, so I knew I wanted to get all these basic chores done of tidying up the room, starting a load of laundry, cleaning up the main living area while Freya was up. That way when she went down for a nap, I could start working on my car. And now that I was all done upstairs, just moving downstairs, downstairs really wasn't that bad. It was just like basic stuff. Tidying up, um, unloading the dishwasher, washing down the table and the counters. Just very simple things, but things that I still knew I wanted to get done before going outside. Plus, I knew if I got all this done, picked up the furniture, I could have my robot vacuum go while I was outside. So trying to get two things done at once. Like diamonds, like 
Here I am just using my Thieves Cleaner. I know if you guys watch every one of my videos, you hear me say that all the time, but I like to just mention it for if there's anyone new here. Um, that's one of the main questions I always get asked is what products I'm using, and I use Thieves Cleaner all the time, absolutely all the time. So that's often what you're going to see when I'm just tidying up the appliances, when I'm not looking to do like I want to do a thorough cleaning, but not like a deep cleaning, so I'm not getting all my special products out. That's what I use. And then on the stove, this is my Mrs. Meyers Cream Cleanser, and I'm just using the Scrub Daddy Sponge. I love this cream cleanser, and I've been obsessed with Scrub Daddy. Ever since I tried the dollar store dupe of the Scrub Daddy, I've been obsessed with it. With it. Can't talk. Um... But I do recommend the actual Scrub Daddies and Scrub Mommies over the dollar store ones. They just last so, so much longer. And I feel like they do a much better job. If you can't find one, the Dollar Tree ones work just fine. But it's definitely something that I think is worth spending the money on the real thing rather than just buying a generic one. You give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more, think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be a little risky and go for it cause I want you close, I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering, you know I'd do anything to be in your arms again. So give me a sign, give me a sign, oh, give me a sign. When you notice me go from like one area to the next with this cream cleanser, I do notice if you have some stubborn areas, letting it sit for a minute and then going back and scrubbing it really does help loosen up any areas. Um, and I'm always getting like little burn rings around the burners that I use on a regular basis, especially like if I'm boiling pasta or something like that and the water overflows. So that just makes a really big difference. When I just literally give it five minutes to sit there, it cleans up a lot easier. So we could take things slow. Say you think about it too. When the lights go out and there's no doubt that I should be with that I should be We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're So I am actually all out of the method wood for good But I'm not buying any cleaning supplies Because I know with us moving I want to get rid of what I have But I have to say I miss using it so much I've been completely out so I'm just using my Thieves Cleaner on the table as well, but I love the Mrs. Myers um, Wood for Good. If you guys have not tried that and you have wood in your house, I highly recommend it. But then once again, joke going into the family room, not too bad at this point. Um, the, the camera moving was because of the vacuum hitting it. So if you're trying to figure that out, I had to quickly move my camera because the vacuum was trying to get through. But I want to just go in, like I said, tidy everything up. Freya had all sorts of little crumbs on the couch. I'm not real picky at the kids having to eat in a certain place in the house. I'm just not. I'm a little bit more laid back and go with the flow. And if I have to clean up after them, I don't really care. So I just want to do a real quick vacuum on that. But then as the vacuum went, I moved on to the outside. Say what you mean, say what you mean. You'll get, get what you need, get what you need. What I do, what I do. I have to say, I always get so nervous about sharing this real life messy minivan. Like, this is my real life right after winter. I allow my kids to have snacks in the car. Um, we have jackets and all sorts of school stuff in the car. 
Freya is the worst when it comes to food. Like, when she's done, she just throws it everywhere. I'm trying to break her of that habit, but she does do it. But I get really, like, self-conscious and embarrassed of this because I know every time I share one of these videos, even though I know so many mamas out there can relate to this, there's always those hate comments about how disgusting my car is. And it's like, I know it is. Like, it's bad. But we've had how many months of frigid, cold winter, so I haven't been able to get in here. Um, so I'm sharing this even though I have a really hard time sharing it, knowing the comments that I'll end up getting, because I know I'm not alone at this. I know there's other mamas out there that their car gets like this because they have kids and they have pets. And we try and keep our homes perfect, and some things fall to the wayside. It's just natural. I can't keep everything perfect all the time and my car is one of those areas that I don't stress about I don't live in my car so I worry about my home and I will get out there and do my car I will say my car does stay a lot cleaner in the summer just because I can get out there more often but this is like I said the first big clean after winter and it's real life real life I'm not going to pre-clean for you guys um, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it it's embarrassing, but I hope it motivates you and lets you know you are definitely not alone. What I do is try to get me more than words. When I say, when I say I quit, it's only because it hurts. We got play, we got places we can go to figure out what we've done, what we need what to do. Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. What I do, what I do is try to give me more than words What I say, when I say I quit, it's only because it hurts We got play, we got places we can go to figure out What we've done, what we need to do Now, one thing that you do not see in this video is I actually purchased all new, all weather mats. It's one thing we hadn't gotten yet since getting the minivan. Um, but when we go to Florida, we're obviously going to be driving and I really wanted the all weather mats. So you're not seeing that in this video, but that will definitely be coming. The hair in this car is for real though. Um, like I said, when we were listing our house, we obviously didn't leave the dogs at home for showings. So there's dog hair everywhere in my car. This is one thing I don't often deal with because if we go anywhere with the dogs, normally they are in Bobby's car. Um, so if they have vet appointments or grooming appointments or anything like that, we normally throw them in Bobby's car and not the family car. However, we can't fit both dogs, all three kids, Bobby and I, comfortably in the CRV. So with showings, we had everyone in the minivan. And luckily, I have these different tools to help with the hair. Now, I will say, I, you guys have seen, I have multiple different tools. They are listed in my Amazon store. So the Lily Brush works great on the seat upholstery. That's a little bit more gentle for pulling it up. However, on the carpeting and stuff like that, this little hand rake is amazing. I used the Lily Brush at first, and it works. But this hand brush made it so simple. It was quick, it was fast, and it got everything. Um, that's why I like having multiple tools. I love using the Lily brush inside because often I want something on my upholstery that's a little bit more gentle and not so scraping. But in my car on this carpeting, this rake was the best and definitely a really good investment. If you have animals, definitely recommend Lily brush this rake, it will make your life so much easier and save you so much time when you clean your vehicles or your furniture or anything like that. So I said, hey, don't you want to come? Come and run away with me. Hey, won't you come? Won't you come? And sit by chairs, don't you want to man? Man who fully understands, who fully understands. So I said, Hey, don't you wanna come? Come and run away with me. Hey, won't you come? Won't you come? And sit by chairs, don't you wanna man? Man who fully understands, a sailor's heart, a sailor's heart. 
so you guys are watching this video and it is what may 20th today friday may 20th um or later if you're watching this the next day or something and it's crazy to think that in less than a month we will be moving to florida we will be down there hopefully in our new house um all the things i'm just so excited about this move which was another reason i needed to get this car clean is 21 hours in the car with three kids two dogs it's gonna get destroyed again but at least we will have a fresh slate to start on when we start our little drive um like i said we are driving the whole way we ended up using pods for our moving stuff i looked all around and i'll talk more about this um, in our packing videos and stuff, but I did so much research on moving companies and everything and we ended up going with pods and then hiring a separate company to move Bobby's Camaro, which by the way, he has been working on nonstop. He is determined to get that car fully operational before we move. Um, and I think he's super excited because he, we're not keeping the CRV. We're actually giving it to my sister. So his Camaro will be his daily driver. Obviously the minivan will still be our family vehicle. Um, but getting that Camaro fully built and ready to go has been his project. That way, once we're down there, I'm sure he'll always be working on it. It's his little toy, but it will be fully operational and up to today's standards when it comes to vehicles. If you guys are wondering how long it took me to vacuum out this car and get out all the dog hair, it was probably just over an hour of working. Now, I will say the minivan is so much easier to clean than when I had the CRV or my Accord or Civic just because I can remove the seats so I can really get in there and clean it. But it was a lot of time and a lot of work to get it very very clean um and i still th ended up missing stuff like i noticed in the after shots that there's some areas i just missed um and had to go back out and clean again um but yeah this is not a small project this is definitely a full day worth of cleaning um but the nice thing is like i said i started this one for it was down for a nap and then once she woke up uh, we ate and then I went back to it. She came outside and played as I cleaned up the car some more and we were able to get it all done and keep everyone happy and entertained and all the things. But definitely if you are planning a project like this and your car is like me, mine, I highly recommend make that your main project of the day and don't stress about other things because this alone is a lot of work. To settle down Day nights and late nights Don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping The love we found I'm just too scared. 
scared to settle down There'd be many nights I got too hot And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk All right, all the vacuuming and stuff in the back of the car is finally done. So we're moving on to cleaning. So I'm using Tough Stuff. This stuff is amazing. It works so good. I sprayed it on. Literally within about a second, I could wipe it off, and it just made it look so clean, so amazing. I need to buy more of this because to clean my entire car like I did this day, I used an entire can. Um, but... I've used this inside. I've never used it yet for cars. So trying it on the cars, which is funny because I originally heard about this stuff because of a car detailing channel, um, but it works so good in the car. It is definitely going to be on hand for any jobs when it comes to cleaning out the car. Like I said, it sprays on super easy and then wipes down even easier. And I used it on absolutely everything to get any sticky residue off, um, dust, food, crayon. I'm just trying to think of everything that I found in this day. Oh, I even had black top in my car because Bjorn and his friends um, were doing a project just between themselves about studying rocks and he grabbed black top <laughs> so that was in my cup holders a little bit of everything so this was a much much needed cleaning but i have to say the car smelled really good afterwards too which is always nice to have a nice fresh clean smelling vehicle and make all this work worth it in the end of my radio now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it Every time you want So summer is coming up I'm curious if you guys have any plans Are you going on summer vacation? Are you anything fun for the summer? Um, our summer is going to be full of just learning a new location, which I guess will kind of feel like vacation. Um, I have had some people ask me, I did a Q&A the other day, it was a couple weeks ago now, on my Instagram asking about our move and asking about Bobby and work. Um, and one thing we are super excited about is when we first moved down there, Bobby will not be working because he doesn't have to. He gets enough with disability now that he's gone through his medical board and is fully retired from the military that financially he could just retire. Um, however, that may or may not happen. But we are going to take probably a good six months to a year of him being home for multiple reasons. One, it'll allow us to get used to a new location, um, a new area, and really just settle into our new life in Florida. But two, um, the house we are still hoping to get, I say hoping because until I sign those papers on closing day, I don't trust anything. <laughs> but the house we are hoping to get is going to need a lot of renovating. We love the house, we love the potential of the house, but there's a lot of work that needs to be done and that we just want to do. Um, so him being home is going to make it so much easier. You guys know I do a lot of it on my own and I love doing it on my own, but to be able to have his help to get a lot of these projects done will make it all so, so much easier. So yes, Bobby is not transferring with his job. Um, he's going to stay home for a while and we don't know. We don't know if he's just going to retire and stay home with me and the kids or 
if he will end up taking over my parents coffee shop because we have talked about that too my parents don't want to stop the coffee shop but they're at an age where they want more of a break they want to take a step back so we may look into taking over the family business as well All right, now once I was done in the back, it was time to move to the front. Front's not nearly as bad as the rest of the car, um, and I can't blame the kids for the front of the car. It's me. I had high heels in here. I had straw wrappers, just random stuff that was not necessary, so I will take full responsibility for the front of the car being a mess. That one's on me. <laughs> All right, so another question we got asked over on Instagram, and I'm answering these questions over here because I figure if people are asking them over there, you guys are also curious over here, and that's just a great platform for me to get the questions from you guys to be able to answer. Um, but someone asked how the kids feel about moving and if they're excited or scared or what they are feeling. And if you follow me on Instagram, I actually had them answer it personally. Um, and they say both. They are both very excited about the opportunity to be in Florida. They love the fact that we're probably going to have a pool at our house that they can swim every day. Um, they hate the cold as much as we do, so they love the idea of warm weather, and they love the idea of being around their tea and papa, which is my mom and dad, they call them tea and papa, um, all the time. So they are super excited about that. However, they are a little bit nervous and scared about the idea of starting a new school. Now, that is part of the reason why we are making this move now. The kids are both in grade school, and we figure to move with the kids the easiest time is in grade school. To wait until they're in middle school and high school, it just gets so much more difficult. So they are a little bit nervous, but I think there's more excitement than nerves. But I'd have to be lying if me, as a grown adult, making this decision with my husband, if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous, because it's a big, big change. So they're excited and nervous all at the same time. I'm sick of love songs. I'm tired of this. And I want to taste straight just like it is. You're watching me like you want me. But you're still holding back. Still holding back. Honestly, you're annoying me with the way that you keep playing. Show me your love like it is, like it is. I'm also really excited because with this move and Bobby being home, we are going to do a lot more on our family vlog channel, hopefully. Um, I know we haven't been doing a ton right now, and honestly, it's just... Life is crazy right now between talking to realtors and loan officers and inspectors and appraisers and all the things. <laughs> it's just so much setting up moving companies and literally everything closing on this house. It's been crazy. So to work on this channel plus have our family vlog channel, it was just getting to be a little bit too overwhelming and stressing me out. So I I stepped back and the easiest place to step back is on our family vlog channel but if you guys are not following us it's just Cambria and Bobby um, I have that linked in the description as well you guys should go follow us because we should be sharing a lot more over there which I am so excited about I love sharing on that channel um, but like I said it's the easiest thing when I need to take a step back 
that's where I take a step back. It's either going to be on that channel or on Instagram. Um, it's, it's the first to go when something needs to go. It is like it is. Bend open my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love and leave me breathless, breathless. All right, now it's finally time to get the car put back together. <laughs> um, these seats, I have to say, it looks really easy to get them in and out in um, fast forward. But don't let that fool you. These seats are so heavy and they were not wanting to go in easily for me. But I needed to get them back in and then clean them off. I will say the one area that I did miss is that side that you guys are seeing from the camera. I couldn't see it and I totally missed it. Um, I did go back later after watching this and be like, oh, well, that was completely a fail. <laughs> but it's just, it's funny because I don't see the angle that you guys are seeing. So often things can get missed. And then I go back and I'm like, well, that's not good. Nice thing is, though, that it probably, I probably never would have gone back if I didn't watch it back so it does save me from missing areas at times that i just don't see and don't notice All right, so this is always my favorite part, the befores and the afters. It is such a huge transformation of this car, getting it all cleaned up that I think it's one of the best before and afters for you guys to see. But then when I was all done with before and afters, we did go to the car wash to get the car cleaned up as well. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it gave you the motivation to tackle something in your house today. Also, don't forget to check out my link in the description for Skillshare. Remember, it's only the first 1,000 followers to use my link or code that will get that free month free with Skillshare. But if you're new here, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss any new videos to come. We have a lot of exciting stuff coming, especially with our move to Florida. And I cannot wait for you guys to join us on this adventure. Bye!